Hi, uh, welcome to this third part of the video series, Build Your Home Theater. Okay, in today's session, I'm going to cover these uh, four topics, the resolution, television, projector, and screen. Okay, let me cover point by point. To start with the resolution, like if we have seen, for the last few decades, we had been watching movies in cinema theater, right? Like about four, three to four decades back, if you had seen on a, in a movie theater, in the projector room, there will be rolls of film rolls, right? Film rolls. Suppose if it's a 15 uh, reel movie, then there will be 15 big reels of analog film. Actually, celluloid, we used to call it as celluloid films. Now, from that period, we have become more and more digital, okay? I will just touch upon the basics of uh, the resolution part of how we came from analog to digital, okay? When we are talking about the resolution, like we are talking about digital, then we talk about RGB, okay? Now, RGB red green and blue this together makes one pixel now whatever the resolution that we are talking about it is nowadays in pixel now if you take a movie then there was a film and when you put a lamp behind that and it's projected that was an analog now for example let me give a simple example like a ball okay in an analog film there was a circle okay as a ball and it was shown and this was analog now what is digital okay now to create this circle I would digitally do like this something like this right it's because this is how digitally the image has to be constructed right right this is how digitally it is constructed now a little bit improvement okay this is not closer to this now again there is an improvement okay instead of doing thick lines i will just do little bit thin lines like this okay let me not waste time on this okay something like this now still i'm going to go thinner 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 and trying to recreate this circle now this is what the history of recreating what was almost 40 years back i'm not against digital because going digital it had many advantages technologically but I'm just talking about the visual part of it, the visual part of it. Like in the film, the circle was shown. Now digitally, when the image has to be recreated and shown on the screen, it was like this. Okay, this was quite bad. Okay, right. Then a little bit of improvement, technology improvement came. Now that is what is like this, like VCD. VCD came somewhere in 1990s, 1990s, 95. During that time, the video CD came. Video CD concept, okay, with that, the circle was created like this. Just an example, huh? VCD. It was created like this. Then DVD came. It made little bit improvement in the res resolution, okay? Then HD came, which is almost five years back. It was recreated. Now we have 4K which is now almost almost closer to the original almost closer to original so this is how the resolution history has taken place by going digital we were again trying to go back and catch up with the old one which is a perfect circle okay now this is what in a simple layman's language what the resolution is now if you talk uh, when you check uh, uh, on google about the resolution this is a standard chart that you can see on the scene. Let me start with 4K, okay? Now, high definition is there, DVD and VCD. See, proportionately, the size is smaller and smaller, right? Let me just try to explain how it translates to the image that you see on a television, okay? Now, 4K, you all know, it is four times that of HD. 4K is almost four times. You have one, two, three, four. Okay. HD is four times that of 4K is four times that of HD. Okay. You see the HD resolution is 1920 by 1080 pixel. That means what it means is, okay, as I mentioned, this red, green, blue makes one pixel. 
which means horizontally there are 1920 pixel laid out and horizontally there is 1080 pixels laid out okay Now, coming to DVD, it is much smaller, almost less than one-fourth of it. The VCD is still one-fourth, not exactly one-fourth, little bit closer to one-fourth of it. Now, this is how the size has gradually increased in terms of pixel. Now, what uh, to understand clearly what this concept in a single TV, let us assume that we have a 42-inch TV. Uh, same size of TV, let us consider, which was... Uh, almost 25 years back, let us take as 30 years, let us take 30 years, okay? 30 years, 20 years back, 10 years back and present, okay? Now this is what is the improvement. This was, let us say in, uh, this is, let us take in 2020, uh, let us take 2020, this is 2010, let us take this is 2000, then this is 1990 okay this is how it is okay when we had the vcd technology when you are playing back the video the pixels were that big actually that big okay that big which means you no know, this is the type of image that we used to get on the television while watching a video cd okay little bit of improvement came almost five to ten years after that which is the dvd where dvd was little more smaller pixel and high definition still much smaller pixel then 4k is much smaller that means in horizontally in 4k there is 3840 pixel that can be laid horizontally and 2160 pixel laid vertically okay now this is how the concept of the resolution is and uh, i just wanted to stress this particular thing related to 4k uh, and the old film technology uh, where we also could get this same uh, picture. Now, as far as home theater is concerned, I'm going to talk about uh, the television resolution and the projector resolution when we are deciding of these two components required for a home theater. Okay, now television in, in my opinion, for a home theater, if you are going for home theater, which includes a projector and television, then for television, a uh, high definition is more than sufficient. One may not go for a 4K resolution on a television. Let me tell why. Okay. Now, 4K res uh, resolution, the high resolutions are required only when you are having a big screen. When you are having only a big screen. Now, here, see in television, you can nowadays you get a TV, they call it as 4K or UHD. This is ultra high definition. 4K and 4K and uh, UHD, which is ultra high definition, is almost synonym as far as TV is concerned. Okay. The actual, the true 4K resolution is slightly different, which is 40. 96 by 2160. Now this true 4K, this is for digital cinema. Digital cinema. See, digital cinema is nowadays when you go to a, a movie theater or a multiplex theater, they use a digital cinema projector, which means it has a 4K resolution of digital cinema. Okay. Earlier it was a film roll. Now it is a digital cinema because digitally it is um, save the movie is saved and it is projected onto a big screen to get 4k now tell me that big screen can it be equivalent to a 42 inch screen that you have at home or maximum even you take 65 inch okay need not be so it's for a television in my opinion 4k is a overkill it's really not required High definition is more than sufficient for viewing on a television. Okay. Now, that is an important thing that I want to stress as far as television required for a home theater. Okay. Now, you know, 4K uh, televisions are much more expensive compared to 
uh, television of course you have the budget you can always have a 4k uh, TV uh, in your home theater nothing wrong with that but I'm talking about uh, those who are trying to build a home theater stage by stage on a budget right in that case television a high definition television is more than sufficient because the screen is small now for pro projector now when you have to select the projector there are a couple of key things that you need to take into account now the projector in the market you see in general what is available are like a business projector they call it as which is used for business application like in a conference room where they just only connect the laptop or a computer thing into that so that it's just uh, used for presentations and all that okay whereas nowadays there are dedicated home theaters uh, projectors that are available uh, which is um, available at 720p or 1080p type of uh, projectors okay you can certainly go for uh, that type of uh, projector so there are a few things that you need to consider for a projector see one is the the resolution for a projector okay one is a resolution okay now if it is a business projector then they talk about specs like SVGA, XGA, WXGA those type of things okay you can check out the resolutions of this it's much much smaller okay and it is slightly different because here uh, in terms of uh, ratio you know the uh, ratio this is 4 is to 3 4 is to 3 then this is 16 is to 10 okay see what a 4 is to 3 is as you know okay this is 4 times and this is 3 times okay the, the, suppose this is uh, 40 uh, centimeter this is 30 centimeter that is a ratio 16 is to 10 is different 16 is little wider right 16 is to 10 now these are the resolutions for normally a business projectors okay when you are talking about uh, home projectors home theater projectors home theater and this is for business okay business projector a home theater projector you have like 720p 1080p and all that right and in this the resolution the aspect ratio we call it as okay this aspect ratio is 16 is to 9 okay that is aspect ratio is 16 is to 9 okay now you can make a simple calculation 1080p okay 1080p you know right 1080p you divide by 9 multiply by 6 you will get 1920 pixel so that is a rough calculation as far as the uh, aspect ratio and the resolution of the monitors are concerned now the resolution now another important aspect is the contrast ratio now contrast ratio what, what is this actually contrast ratio is see there are two extremes right like before we had black and white tv not the color and we talked about luminance like in a black and white tv you have the extreme white and the extreme black in between there is different scales of gray right when we talk about white and black okay the whitest white pure white let us say and black is blackest black okay so these two are two extremes so here how extreme we can go that is a contrast ratio okay how extreme we can go is a contrast ratio now the luminous always even in a color uh, television there is two part with luminance and the chrominance part okay we are talking about luminance part now the contrast ratio is about the luminance part that is how well that uh, projector can recreate the whitest white or how well it can create the blackest black okay when the contrast ratio okay the contrast ratio normally it is in terms of x is to y okay and normally it will be like see some projector will show as 500 is to 1 some like 1000 is to 1 and some like 20,000 is to 1 okay higher the spec higher it is better the contrast ratio that is the picture will be rich in color when the contrast ratio is high because some some projector specs where they will talk about very uh, high okay uh, let me talk about the next another thing then i come back to that 
Another is the luminance, ANSI luminance, right? We call it as ANSI is a standard, okay? Then how bright it is, okay? Luminance, ANSI luminance is how bright the uh, image can be from the projector. Normally this one people for a home theater, okay? You can take about 2000 lumens or 2500 or 3000, whichever, okay? These are the types of uh, uh, ANSI lumens that you can go in for. Now, sometimes some projectors I've seen, it will have very high luminance, but the contrast ratio will be less. Okay, which again, no, the image reproduction may not be as good as the projector, which is 2500 lumens and 20,000 is to one contrast ratio. Okay, now uh, that, that is, uh, let me take one projector, the spec is. 1000 lumens okay and contrast ratio let us say it is uh, 500 is to 1 okay there is another projector I have which is 2500 lumens and 20,000 ANSI lumens uh, sorry 20,000 um, contrast ratio 20,000 is to 1 contrast ratio which projector do you choose okay I would prefer this because this will uh, reproduce a much better image okay so these are the key there are a lot of specification that is mentioned in the projector and uh, nowadays uh, and even in the uh, technology of the projector there are many like they call, talk about uh, uh, dlp projector lcd projectors and off late in the last one, uh, one or uh, two years uh, in the market nowadays you get led uh, technology which means you don't have to replace a lamp because earlier the laser or whichever those are all lamp projector that is uh, the every uh, thousand hours or every two thousand hours you need to replace the lamp and uh, the lamps were quite expensive too and uh, nowadays you get led projectors which means that as you know led technology uh, it can go up to twenty thousand hours the uh, claim and it's true because uh, there's one project i had been using for the last two years i i don't see any diminishing thing uh it has been uh, running uh, well okay so led technology type of projector is good so these are the basic uh, uh parameters that you need to look into as far as the projector is concerned okay and there is one more uh parameter which you need to consider right related to the screen okay uh, let me come to that finally uh, we are going to talk about the screen size okay now how do you choose the screen size of course we love the biggest screen we can have right it's true like for example you have a, uh, suppose this is your dedicated home theater room okay so what is the maximum size that you can have like for example this is uh, three meters okay three meters now what is the maximum okay one you can have full nine uh, three meter screen or you can go for even a 2.5 meter screen okay 2.5 okay let me draw like this okay 2.5 now let me also draw in a 3d view how is going to be important right now for example in this room i'm going to have the projector which is going to be from the ceiling mount. Let us say I'm going to mount the ceiling screen like this. Okay, there is a box. Okay, okay, which from down I'm going to pull out the screen. Okay, in this I'm going to have 2.5 meters. Okay, now you need to know what is this distance is going to be. Let us take uh, this as 5 meters. Okay, which means where do I place a projector? Now, of course, a, play, uh, a projector can be at this distance okay now remember you make the distance you take the the distance between the projector screen and the projector okay like if it is closer you take away the projector far and far the size of the image on the screen is going to be much bigger and bigger you know that right now based on this length of this room if you place a projector okay what is the image that is going to project at this distance okay now this you have to check the specification of what is the range 
of the uh, distance of the screen that is recommended by the manufacturer's project. Now this is very critical because you for such a place you should not end up with uh, a projector where you place in the middle of a thing and you get a smaller one. No. Okay. If you have to get a uh, bigger screen then accordingly you know the choice of your projector should be in such a way that it takes care of this distance so that you get the right image size onto the screen. Now like for example now this is a 3D view right okay I am going to draw the view from this distance okay okay I am having the screen okay now projector Okay, you can place a projector either down or up. Okay, normally when you have a projector, okay, the lens, if you have this axis, normally it the image is not like this. It's not like this. It's usually like this. The bottom part is little bit almost closer to the horizontal axis. This one is projector little up. Okay. Now, if you are going to have a screen like this, as well, you can invert this projector. Let us take, just for showing, this is the bottom, let me show like this. Now, I am going to invert the projector, okay, and have the lens, okay, in which case, I am going to have this projection onto the screen, something like this. Thanks for watching this video. If you like it, please click thumbs up, subscribe for this video if you have not done so till now because we will be coming up with more and more educational videos related to the industry uh, and do not hesitate to share this particular video to your friends in the industry who also are looking for this type of solutions. Thank you once again.